And now it's time for Egg Jeopardy! Welcome, welcome everybody. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Egg Jeopardy! We got our lovely contestants here. This is, uh, this is Jeopardy! Simple show, there's eggs involved. Get with it. I'm your host, Christine Egg Aguilera Egg, and uh, let's talk about the more important folks today. We got the contestants here. Kayla, contestant number one. Hi. You excited to be here? I'm very excited. You look like a quail egg. That's what I was going for. Thank you very much. Keeping it on theme, coming down to contestant number two. You know what they say about twos, am I right? We got Alfredo. Why is there like hair follicles? You wanna get in there? It's real. I shaved for this. I'm using an ointment to grow like, it back faster. I don't like the texture. I love the texture, and you'll get used to this texture. Hey, Joseph. Hey, how are we doing? Um, I see you've already dug into your egg buzzer. Yeah. Um, you know, I uh, I poked a finger or a hole in it with my finger. Um, did you roll around in dirt before you got here? Why is everyone commenting on my beautiful head? Let's just, you know what? Let's just come over here. All right. So this is essentially Jeopardy, but along the way we'll have very uh, egg-themed twists and changes. Uh, also, you might have noticed there with Joe, but everybody has a egg for a buzzer, and if you break my egg, I'll I'll uh, gently replace it, um, so that way you have another egg. There might be some sort of punishment, so uh, you know when you buzz away, you might get eager. Just uh, watch your strength there, Hulk Hogan. Everyone ready to go? You guys ready? You inquisitive? Ready to answer some questions? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at the categories for today. Category one, we have not rated R. Hey, you, we have history. We've got bird words, cooking, and of course, we've got abbreviation. I randomly decided just moments ago, seconds really, who was gonna go first, and I decided, Kayla, you're going to be picking the category, column, whatever. Where uh, do you wanna start? Uh, I'll take uh, cooking for 400. Fantastic. You allowed to do that? I think that's how that works. For a fancy breakfast, you can cook these popular items, Benedict or Sardou. Yes, Kayla. Is it eggs? What is I'm it? I'm not eggs? the genius, Cody. I'm gonna need some sort of feedback here. What? I would imagine it's eggs. What are eggs? Yes, Kayla. Is it eggs? Fantastic news! It is eggs! Points to Kayla. Yes, thank you. Uh, Kayla, that means the board is back to you. Where would you like to go next? Uh, cooking 200? Cooking for 200? Going back up the category, let's see what we got. For a fancy breakfast. What the hell, man? What's going on, producer? Hey! Hey, wake up! I need you to wake up! I need you to wake up! Come here! Trevor, Trevor, this is my Trevor, show! Trevor, a, you messed my show up! I don't know what this goes to! <clears throat> and the answer is eggs! Yes! Points! The, the board is whoever just buzzed. Go ahead and... Me. <clears throat> pick another category. History for 400? History for 400? Jesus Christ, bro. In 1819, this country ceded Florida to the United States. Kayla, please. What is Spain? That is correct. Oh. Hey. Kayla is owning this board. Listen, no history like that. I'm gonna need you boys to scramble it up a little bit. If I have to come back off the bench over here again, <laughs> there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a cracking, and it isn't gonna be mine. I'm coming for that crack. Please, please don't go for my crack. You asked so nicely. I'll head back. He said he's coming for my crack. Just hide the hide your crack. He will come for the crack. Kayla, huh? Please, the board is yours. Really? The oh. genius of our panel. Uh, bird words. For bird 200. words. Excellent, let's send it up. What do we got? Woo! You know what time it is, it's egg time. 
Throughout this game, you might have noticed that there's going to be some mini games. <laughs> Play it again. That's how excited I am. All right, this one's called the egg catch. I think the rules are pretty simple, but Kayla, why don't you go ahead and help me demonstrate to the boys? Okay. Boom! Got Points it. for Kayla. That's right, the classic elementary game of egg catch. There we go, Fredo. That she has to catch it. The points went in and out of those hands. I'm afraid of eggs. You know what? Egg phobia is a real condition. Joe, put them up. What is going on, folks? It's like on purpose. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Okay. Egg catch. <laughs> <sighs> what was that for? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. No. I wanted to give you points. Okay. I went, what was that for? <laughs> question the man. Don't, don't. Egg time over! What a lovely game! Our contestants ended up with some bonus points to share amongst themselves. I, or, or you could keep them to yourselves, Kayla. I don't know. We, we got two. Uh, we got in the pocket. Two goose eggs and whatever Kayla's got. Let's take a check. Of, yeah, you know what? Pocket Poc that. Pocket Keep egg. It's safe. Oh, <gasps> precious cargo. Yeah look, yeah, look at that. Fredo? Yes. We are through the egg time. Let's go back to the board, figure out where we're going next. We're going to not rate it R. Not for, rated R. For 750. I'm going to round that wherever my heart desires. Okay. I want to take you to 200. I think you need to ease into this category, pal. Let's take not rated R for 200. In 2008, Brendan Fraser took a third stab at this title monster in the two. Yes, Fredo. The mommy. I'll, you know what? Just like I rounded those numbers, I'm gonna round your letters. It is the mummy. Thank you very much. You animal. All right. Fredo, where are we heading next, pal? Uh, not rated R. For G. Gonna slap you. <laughs> what number? <laughs> 600. All righty. For a second there, I was not sure that 600 was up there. Jim Carrey's motto is an elephant's faithful 100% in this animated. F yes, Joe. The backyard again. No, that is incorrect, and I'm deeply disturbed by that answer. Kayla, Fredo? Fredo? Lorax? No, it is not the Lorax. Kayla, what do you think? What, what is Horton here's a who? Yes, it is! Damn, that was the one. Ah, congratulations, Kayla. You are back on the board. Nice. <laughs> Kayla, the board is yours. Let's see where we're heading next. Hey, you for 200. Hey, you for 200. It's a way to pitch a softball. It can also mean done in a secret and deceptive manner. Yes, Joe. What is a, what is a secret? You must not have heard the category. But no, it is not a secret. Yes, Kayla. What is underhand? Underhand Handed. is the answer. <sighs> Kayla's really stomping on you guys. His brain is so big. Same. Bam. Nice. That's a brain. Kayla, I don't know how you stay so limber Eggs. doing such extreme sports, but. Uh, Egg a day, Dr. Roy. The board. Yes, go ahead, Fredo. What is help me? My name is Alfredo Diaz. I'm 33, and I am like, get me out of here. Judges? Excellent. Didn't break. Stop. Stop it. Add that to your egg pile. You Become one with the egg. One with I think he's the registering egg. his button. The his egg. button is actually activating. It's a one with the egg. It's the goop. You can get goop points. The goop is the key. Goop keeps me whole. All right. Back to the board. Go ahead, Kayla. Hey, you for 600. Hey, you for 600. <laughs> Rihanna's hit song of 2000 and Joe. Umbrella. Hey, oh, under my um. Ella. 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 A. Egg. A. Egg. 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 Egg.
Got a little excited there, Joe. Sorry, really is late. your buzzer still gonna function? I really we'll like find it. out on the next question. The board is yours, Goop Man. Oh my oh, God. There he goes. He's decided now. He's left the game and he Games. has now entered breakfast We're mode. Do you want a eat, taco or eat something? Eat Joe, the board is yours. Where are we headed? Bird words for 600. Let's see, bird words for 600. It's in the To concoct a secret plan. That was Fredo first, edged him out. Both the goop bros, uh, go ahead, Fredo. What category, oh, birds, caca! To concoct a secret plan, that might be your uh, signaling phrase, but it is not the answer to this one. Joe? That's not my buzzer. It is now. Yeah. There it is. Joe! Save the goop. 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 Joe! 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 To concoct a secret plan, bird words, Joe! Mastermind. Quit goofing with the eggs. Please, an arctic turn with its typical mating call, mastermind. I'll give bonus points to that, for the commitment. How about that? Six points. Did it. We're just gonna move on from this word. What is the it? The answer was hatch. Ah. Hatch. Hatch. You hatch a plan. Like an egg. Birds don't hatch. You're nasty, and I respect it. I'm gonna pick this one because I honestly have lost my confidence that any of you can read. Abbreviations for 800, please. To use this classic French phrase, RSVP, or to please respond, you might say this. Merci beaucoup. Out of turn, <laughs> minus six points. <laughs> Fredo. Merci beaucoup. Intern. Incorrect. Kayla. Uh, so you say, uh, reservoir, reserve very person? Uh, no, no. It is respondez s'il vous plaît. Ah. Yeah, it is essentially just the French phrase for respond, please. Oh. Joe. Yes. Would you like to pick the next category? Yes. History for 600. Oh, 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 oh! Damn it. You know what that means? E egg time! Egg time! Egg time. That's right, egg six time. points for Joe. This one, I hope you got your permission slips, everybody, because we're about to take a little field trip because we're gonna do the egg race. You ready? Yes. All right, come with me, everybody. Here we go. You're leaving the garage? All right, come with me. The egg race is here. Yes, 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 yes. The excitement abounds. The confusion also. So what you see here is the egg race. Each of you will have a spoon with an egg on it, and I'm so hungry. I'm gonna be waiting at the end of this course. Each of you are gonna hop on a Segway, ride the Segway through this ropes course. First person to bring me an intact egg gets their points. You guys ready, any questions? Excellent, that's what I like to hear. Let's come on over. Is everyone good to go? Yes. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll see you at the end of this very long course. Yeah. It'll be painful for some of you. Let's go! And they're off, so fast. Yep, that's Fredo's already dropped his egg. Fredo, I've got an extra. Yep. Place it. Okay. Excellent. Nope, this is great. I'm doing way better than I ever thought I could, okay? Joe okay. is taking a quick okay. lead. No, okay. you're not at the end. Look at the rope okay. you'd have to cross. You gotta touch this wall. Get going. Turn around. Stop it. Get some help. Turn, go. Oh, I saved it for a second. <laughs> oh. Kayla's doing pretty good. This Joe needs to catch up. Girl. Fredo, you're going to you know, this might be the story of the tortoise and the hare for this you're young man. Here he comes. My egg. You're gonna be my egg. But with that, Dan, 
<laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that just hit you. <clears throat> Congratulations, Alfredo! You have won the egg race. Points galore. You will be showered upon with egg glory. I praise the egg, so I am now shielded from egg. I found the unbreakable. <laughs> Let's go back to the studio. Ah, uh, yes. Home. Welcome back, contestants. That was an exciting, adrenaline-filled race. Alfredo, with the points from that one, congratulations. Let's add them. I don't even know. You know what? We should throw up our totals. What are we looking at? Where are we at now in the halfway point? What are our points looking like? Kayla, stomping on everyone else. Who's to be surprised? Alfredo. Hey, you for 800. Hey, you for 800. We salute you for knowing this popular name. I believe that was Kayla. Joe, Joe is working with a pile of slop, so can I'm not a, surprised. Can I get another egg, please? You want another egg? I'll get you another egg. Oop. Thank you. A little wily on that one. Oh, so you want the goop slop. Sounds a little delayed. Why don't you add some more mass? Excellent. They speak to me. Gonna, they speak to you. Speak, right, well, I'm not going to doubt they, that. They chose me. What are they saying in this very moment? You'll know. Union Jack? Yes, Kayla, I almost forgot where we were in space and time, but Kayla, that is correct. That is 800 points to you. The board is now yours. Is anyone surprised? Where are we going next, Kayla? I'll take history for 800. History for 800. In 1609, this English navigator sailed into the yet-to-be-named... Ooh, very close. I'm gonna give that one to Joe. Yes, John Delaware. You're surprisingly not far off. Maybe it's because it says Delaware right there. Jacob Delaware. In that case, you're very far off. James Kayla. Delaware. Fucking oh, hell, it's Hudson. <laughs> Hudson. It's the Hudson River. It's a, it's a river. That's not a real name. Not the bay. Literally, the question is not going to have the answer in it, but hey, we're moving on. Kayla, where are we at? Abbreviations for 600. Excellent. Your ma and pa could tell you ma and pa are the... Kayla. Massachusetts and in Pennsylvania. I'll take it. I'll, just so there's points flying out of my pockets, I'll take it. That is accurate. Massachusetts and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. You know your, uh, your snail mail. I have a snail trail. Abbreviations for 600. Oh, right. I believe we just did that, so we'll go to 400. Yeah. In movie ratings, Joe. Parental guidance. Yes, Joe! Can I get a round of applause from anyone? Just thank God. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yes, that is correct. Your stand is dripping. It's like you're trying to make coconut milk by like taking all the pulp and squeezing it, but that's not it's how egg. eggs work. Kayla, send us back to the board. What are we looking at? Cooking for 800. Cooking for 800? What, I got, I got the last one right. Oh, that's my bad, but doesn't matter. We're doing cooking 800, Joe. <sighs> oh my God. This sauce is also called the, this color sauce. Becamel, becamel. Who's buzzing? You, Kayla, please. Red sauce? No, no, that is inaccurate. Brown sauce? That is still inaccurate. Yellow sauce? It is incorrect. Green sauce? You are close, but incorrect. Close? Whoa! Before he vomits, what he buzzed in with his tongue, tell me, what is bechamel sauce known as? Champagne. Ranch. White sauce. Boom! That was close. In a way, yes. But in another, more real way, no. I am gonna give the board to Kayla once more. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, history for 200. History for 200. In 1800, the US Capitol was moved to Washington, D.C. from this city. California. Woof. No. From this city. Boston. 
Uh, finally, closer. We'll, Delaware. We're gonna whittle it in. Delaware. Can we get a state? Backwards. Can we get a state? Staten Alfredo. Island. Can we get a state? <sighs> no, I'm just gonna say you're wrong. It's Philadelphia. Philly. It is Philadelphia. Hey, we love Philly. Hey, 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 is it any wonder that we play video games for a living? All right, let's give the board to Egghead. Hi, happy to be here. <laughs> I will do word birds for 800. All right. Word birds for 800. Whoa! Whoa! It's time. What time? Egg, egg time. time! That's right. We are playing Suck a game up. known as Egg Roulette. We have a handful of eggs in this cart, and I'm gonna walk in front of you all and ask you to pick one at a time. Most of these eggs are hard boiled. I'll give you points if you eat it. But we also have this uh, terrifying device that will hold the egg. You'll uh, kind of push, push thusly, and it will crack the egg for you. If you've pulled a hard boil, you'll be safe. Kayla. It's boiled. You like that one? All right. I'll let you go ahead and, oh, oh, okay. I'll help you out here. All right, here we go. I'm confident. <laughs> There is not a high it. likelihood that you're gonna find a raw one, but yeah, you did. I won. You're fed. You are I got out. it. You're fed. I got All right. out. I thought we wanted the raw one. No, you're out. Oh, you're okay. Eat up, little guy. Whoa! You got yourself a safe one. Right here, Joe, take your pick. That's one way to do that. Holy God. Mm. Second round. Don't worry, hungry guy. We got you. More? Yeah. Open up wide, look me. to the sky. And you're safe! Go ahead. That was you. Excellent, you're safe. We have now three eggs. All righty, <sighs> go oh. ahead. Don't open it just yet. Okay. If you both have a hard boiled egg now, I'm gonna declare you both the winner and you will earn some desperately needed points. Yeah, Three, please. two, one. Oh. oh, it was a sweaty hard boil. All right, that one's hard boiled. What do you got? Ah. He just clocked himself with a hard boiled egg. <laughs> well, that's egg time over. Let's get back into the serious game. Everyone put on your uh, safety belts because we're about to get Logical. I'm gonna go ahead and give the board over to Eeny Meeny Miny Joe. The board is yours. Not rated R for 800. It's no fairy tale, or is it? When Princess Giselle hits Manhattan in this 2007 musical film. Yes, Joe. Enchanted. Enchanted is correct. Points for Joe. Congratulations. Yes. I'm kind of becoming proud of you now. It still works. Everything works. Anywhere you touch on your podium is now buzzer. That won't become irritating at all. Joe, where would you like to go? Cooking for 600. Cooking for 600. Potato chips are cooked this way. Oh, Kayla. What is fried? Yes, judges, I'm just gonna assume that they say yes, it is deep fried, but yes, correct, it is fried. And thank you for using uh, the proper Jeopardy format. Game what is also chip. baked? There are baked chips. I will give him half points. What is, he what is kettle cooked? Uh, quarter points. Joe? What is potatoes? Just give him five points or something. Yeah. He could use it. Yes. Hey you for 400. Hey you, 400. What do we got? Oberyn, Ariel, Miranda. Arthur. What is Uranus? That is accurate. Holy goodness. Congratulations. Points to Kayla. Go. Can I also explore Uranus? The gravitational pull would be too high. You'd be pulled in. Essentially an event horizon. You'd fall through the surface of this gaseous planet. And on your way down, you might have just a brief moment of consciousness before your entire body was compacted, crushed, down to your carbon atoms, uh, <laughs> to the point where you might be uh, something like graphite or even a diamond. And you will stay there at the center of the planet for the rest of eternity. Kayla. Bird words for 400. Okay, 400 it is. In inefficient way, the type is to hunt and do this. Kayla. Oh, whoops, sorry, Joe. Yeah. Right. 
What is an achievement hunter? Take his points to zero. Take this points. Take his points away. Take everything he's had and make it an egg. All right. And if, yes, Kayla. What is Peck? Peck is correct. Kayla, thank you very much. Good one. Joe, let's just say you're not you're not out of contention, but you're in a desperate place. Not rated R for 400. All right. God. In this spy film, a phone-throwing Steve Carell unleashed the element of surprise. What is I spy? It is not I spy. Joe. What is spy Car Carell? Is there a word generator on your podium or? No. Take his points back to zero. Zero amount, thank you, thank you. Alfredo. I'd like to know why I throw a phone away. It could be pretty expensive. What is the 40-year-old virgin? Oh. Oh, oh, I know this one. I know this one. What? What is the office? God damn it! What is Bruce Almighty? Evan oh. Almighty? Which one was he in? Oh, God. Does anyone have an antacid or a Tylenol? Or just... What is spy versus A memory-wiping drug. Just, uh, uh, what anything. is Steve Eggrell? Oh, God. Jesus. Manhunt. Oh, my God. Get smart. Get smart. <laughs> Get smart. That's that leaves us with one. <clears throat> abbreviation. That leaves us with 200. one thing left on the board. Abbreviations for 200. And you know what time it is. It's egg time. egg time. We are doing the egg drop challenge. Let me kindly explain it to you all. We're going to drop an egg. It's going to hit the ground. If you can make a device that protects the egg from a short fall, you will get points. If you cannot protect your egg, you're gonna lose those points, or, or whatever. You're just gonna be a loser. I'm gonna give you five minutes. We're gonna swing out a table of uh, accoutrement that you get to kind of finagle, kind of engineer your design, and then we'll drop them. All right. So what do we got here? We have some popsicle sticks, some straws, some tapes of various kinds. We have packaging air packs. It's contestants, are you ready? Yes. Joe's getting his sleeves on, but he forgets that his legs are essentially just out there. that up. You don't want to get messy. All right, contestants, you may begin building in five, four, go ahead. Joe, an interesting way to tangle up your tape. Kayla, with something that's looking like a bit of a shuriken. It's a butthole. Oh, well. I want to make the egg feel safe. If they come out oh, of chicken well, parts. I think Joe's device is just about looking ready to go. The question is, is he gonna be able to remove it from his hand when he's done? Alfredo is bringing in some outside paraphernalia that would be considered illegal if we had any rules. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm not, I'm just too impatient. Excellent. Our contestants have these bastardized devices. I would struggle to call them anything but marvels of engineering. Joe, let's take a look at your, uh, what do we got here? What's the system? Oh, it looks like it's fully attached to your hand. All right, well, we'll figure that out when your time comes. Kayla, yeah. you got what looks like a gingerly laid pillow with a bedding of straw. What I've done here is I wanted to simulate the safest moment an egg has ever had, yes. which is when it's birth. So here you can see I've recreated the womb of the mother oh. chicken. And then, as I said before, the chicken bolt hole for the egg to be expressed through safely into this world. Got you. So you've done a bit of a re-unbirthing, a reverse birthing, to then rebirth the egg. Yes. It's safest moment. Excellent. Alfredo, uh, how is your device holding up? It says your time is soon. Listen, all eggs are timers. Let's start with our drop. We're gonna go to our podiums to drop from the height of the top of our podium. Everyone line up behind your podium and hold your egg. Let's see how the safety boat holds up. Go ahead and drop. There was a pivot in the air. Hold on, Kayla. Oh, oh. No. No! My boy! My baby boy. You hate to see it when you thought you had them at their safest moment. You did nothing but let them down. Alfredo, 
Is your device ready to go? Yep. All right, let's send it. Should have added the wings. I um, kind of don't know where to hold this. You want to investigate? You want to dig into that? Oh, she's safe. The eggs trust me. My goodness, me. that egg is safe and intact. Points <laughs> for Alfredo. Those will be his final points of this game. Joe, yes. if you can't remove that device from your hand, I will be forced to drop your entire person. I'll let it go, I'll let it go. All right. I was very eager. All right, three, to drop him. two, one. No, 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 no. This is ruining my show. No. Ruining no. my show, Joe. <laughs> ruining my show. No. Wait, hey. <clears throat> well, that was the final egg time. I think it's safe. Honestly, I don't know. I don't see any eggs dripping out of there. Joe? Joe? No, it's right there. All over. You tried to hide it from me, huh? You tried to hide your shame? Well, with that said, let's take a final look at the points and see if there's any surprises. What's up? What's up, little guy? The eggs. They spoke to you, but now they no. speak to me. The eggs protect me, and I protect the eggs. I am their god now! The eggs are with me! Caleb, congratulations, you've won Egg Jeopardy. Let's get the hell out of here. I am unbreakable. See? Thanks for watching Egg Jeopardy. We got another episode coming right next week, so stay tuned. Uh, and we'll see what happens then. It's gonna be a wild time. <laughs>